Ready to beat Airbnb success? Stay tuned as we guide you step by step through the process, from idea to final product. You don't want to miss this. We're Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, use the Super Thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. So you're probably thinking, where do I start? The first step is to decide between a ready-made solution and custom development. A ready-made solution can get you started quickly and at an affordable price. But keep in mind you will eventually need to scale the product. Some popular ready-made platforms include ShareTribe, Rocket Bazaar, Yocart, CS Cart, and Shopify. On the other hand, if you want to create something unique with specific business logic that's user-centric, you might consider custom development. Although more time and cost-consuming, this method results in a bespoke web application that fulfills all your business requirements and brings your unique ideas to life. Next comes the technology stack. That's a broad theme, so get your notes ready. To develop a platform like Airbnb, you might consider the following technologies. Programming languages like Ruby, JavaScript, Java, HTML5, and CSS3. Frameworks like Ruby on Rails and React.js. And services like PostgreSQL for SQL data storage, Redis for data storage, Nginx as a web server, and Amazon Web Services for hosting. Assembling the right team is also crucial. You'll need a business analyst, a project manager, UI UX designers, Android and iOS developers, back-end and front-end developers, and a QA engineer. Quite a broad list, but any good team can provide these specialists. Jelvix, for example, has all the above. Now, after you've assembled your dream team, the next vital step is identifying the necessary features that your Airbnb-like app must have. We had a similar experience in Jelvix, and the key features of the project were user roles, personal profile data, listing, online maps, and messaging. All of the listed is aimed at ensuring user engagement and satisfaction. So let's break it down. First, user roles. The platform should differentiate between travelers and hosts. These roles can be flexible, allowing users to switch from providing lodging to looking for it and vice versa. Then it's personal profile data. Allowing users to manage their account settings smoothly increases user satisfaction and trust. Listing. Both hosts and travelers need to provide and access important data this could include details about accommodations, location, type, and prices. Now, online maps. Enabling users to navigate local areas and find suitable lodging enhances user experience and adds practicality to your app. And finally, messaging. Communication between hosts and travelers about details such as arrival time, number of guests, and any other questions or clarifications is vital for smooth transactions. But your app needs more than just a strong backbone. Other necessary features, such as a booking management system, notification system, online payments, cancellation options, translation engines, and community support provide your users with a complete, comprehensive experience. These features make your app not just usable, but enjoyable and efficient. For now, you have almost all the necessary information, so let's make a little roadmap to ensure all the knowledge. Step by step, your development process might look like this. First, planning and research. This stage involves comprehensive market research, competitor analysis, and defining your target audience. The deliverable is a clear project plan with a defined user persona a unique value proposition, and core features. Second, design. Here, you'll need wireframes, prototypes, and UI UX designs to map your user journey and interface. The end goal at this stage is a design that is aesthetically pleasing, but also user-friendly and intuitive. 
third is, of course, development. This is where your dream starts becoming a reality. You'll need to develop the front end, what users see, and the back end, the server side of your application. You'll move from this stage with a working application. Now, testing. This stage ensures your app is ready for the market. Your QA engineer will identify and fix any bugs and ensure that the app runs smoothly across different devices. The result? An app that is market ready and bug free. And finally, launch and maintenance. Once your app is live in app stores, the work doesn't end there. You must update your app regularly, fix those bugs, and add new features based on your user feedback. Actually, that's why we recommend working with a professional team. Ready-made solutions can be tough to scale and rework if necessary. Building an app like Airbnb is a significant undertaking, but with the right team and a clear roadmap, it is an achievable dream. So take the leap and start turning your dream into reality. Keep in mind that we're also here to help. So write in the comments or contact us directly to get more information. And of course, we propose you watch our new video about creating a social media app. It might be useful. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.